Okay, welcome back. After explaining the theories one inside um, about selection statement inside um, all kinds of programming languages. Now I'm going to apply this one into C programming and this one is the example I already um, explained to you and I'm going to write a C program to demonstrate about this one. So we have the C here we're going to click on new project and this one make sure it's um, C language okay and I'm gonna name this project as um, session number um, two. This one is about um, uh, selection statements um, or if else statements if else okay okay uh, gonna copy this uh, project name go up create a filter paste here open okay open again save the project click on save to save this main file again and I'm gonna use the example that we already um, demonstrated okay so um, we will declare a variable in variables in x um, equal to 10 and in y equal to 3 um, we're gonna check if um, x uh, uh, greater than um, y then it's going to uh, it's going to um, display print out print the values which is x is greater than y okay we make a new line and this one gonna print off um, mm, 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 uh, uh, if they more okay this one is the um, if they more okay then create a new line then if it's true if this one is evaluated to be true it's gonna print this one out that x greater than y is true so it's gonna this one gonna be printed out so compile and run you'll see um, oh this one is a missing uh, semicolons okay we execute this one I if X greater than war and this one is another missing semicolon again okay um, execute this one you will see that X is greater than war then if, if you change it back to X is smaller than war it's gonna be evaluated as forms so this one is going to uh, not gonna show anything so because it's, it's form so this one not gonna be executed so now I'm changing back to that one now I'm going to mm, try another case which is um, mm, I'm gonna try another case which is if else demo uh, then in this case makes a new line then this one if x is smaller than y okay if x smaller than y is going to um, print out this one is x is smaller than y then make a new line then you're gonna do else it's gonna if it's not smaller maybe it's going to be uh, X is greater than or equal to Y because it's not smaller okay then um, in this case in this case X equal to 10 and Y equal to 3 X smaller than Y is found so this one will not be executed but this one will be executed which is X is greater than or equal to Y so if you execute this one now you will see uh, see if else there more in this case X is greater than or equal to Y this one is not uh, very specific you can also continue to test this one more specifically print uh, f uh, this one is um, um, i'm gonna do if else if again the more okay if else if again the more so um, we can uh, check let's say if um, x if x smaller than y this one will be phones then it should execute print of x is smaller than y then create a new line okay um, else you can do another if to check another condition here um, else if x uh, equal to y you're going to display okay uh, print of again x is equal to y then create a new line now if else again okay if the first condition and also the second condition this one is phones this one also phones then by default it's gonna run this statement and if it's not smaller than if it's not equal means it is means it is uh, greater than so you're gonna print out x is greater greater than y and create new line
In our case, in our case, um, x is 10 and y is 3. So, um, so um, x is, uh, 10 is smaller than 3 is false. Uh, 10 equal to 3 is also false. That's why it's going to for sure execute this one. Uh, this one is, um, this one is, x is greater than, y well, I mean 10 greater than 3. This one is correct. Okay. So it's supposed to run this one. So if you execute, you'll see for if else, if there more, it's going to show you x is greater than y for x equal to 10 and y equal to 3. Okay. And that is about if else if statements. And I'm going to, um, that one is about if else if statement, which is this one. And I'm going to um, show you about the, um, I'm going to show you about the um, switch case demo as I explained before. Like switch case one, we can switch on our values. Okay, you can switch on our values um, here. Int x equals to something. And in this case, um, instead of do uh, assigning the uh, x equal to zero, then just assign it. I was yeah, just assign it. Now, so we're going to create on the new project. Sorry, we're going to create new project. Can sort of and this one is session number one, and this one is switch. No, it's just a number two. So switch case, okay? Set a number two, switch case. Close reverse one and copy the project name, go up, create a new folder, paste, open this one, save, okay, save the project now, save the main file inside that project, okay? And we're going to declare value, values in x and assign it into um, equal to four, like I explained before. Now, if you're gonna switch, and check that values x there and the case the case if it is one you're going to do something that break case if it is equal to two you're going to do something and break sorry uh, then the case is equal to three and you can do something and break okay and default mean if it's if it is not one or two default if it's not one or two or three, we're going to break, okay? Then uh, if it's case is one, we're going to print off. Uh, the fan is running with, okay? Running with speed one, okay? Then create a new line. Similarly, um, if it is two, it's gonna execute the fan is running with speed two. Okay, if it is three, is you going to put the fan is running with speed three? Let's just put it clear. One, two, three, and if it is if it is um, default means it's not one, not either one, two, or three means it's default. In that case, we're going to say invalid input. Okay, I want to say invalid input. So uh, let's say in this case, if you execute this one and x equal to four, it's gonna check the values of x is four. This one is phone, so not executed. This one is phone, so not executed. This one is phone, not executed. So it's gonna execute this one, invalid input, okay? Um, I miss a case. Let's say it's case number zero. Um, you're going to paste here the fan is off. Okay, the fan is off, okay? And then you need to break, otherwise it's not gonna uh, otherwise, it's going to continue to execute the other statements. Now, if you execute this one, you'll see currently it is 4. So it's going to show you which is invalid input. Okay, which is invalid input. And then if you put, uh, let's say, number 3 and execute this one, it's going to show you this one is the fan is running with speed number 3. Um, and if you execute and put 0, sorry, if you put zero it's gonna tell you the fan is off because zero is going to check the values is zero it's going to do this one just to make things more interesting a little bit so i'm going to just uh, not assign the fixed values over here but i'm going to add user to um, input the fan speed so um, i'm going to prompt user print tab please input the fan speed um, or zero to uh, stop, okay. Or zero to stop. Fan speed one two three. Okay. Open parenthesis. One two three. Or zero to stop. Okay. Three two one. Okay. Uh, 
three numbers. Then um, when you say input, you're going to do the scan up method. This one I already taught last time. And you're going to scan a digit that user input. And then you put into the address of the variable x. Okay. This one to make it more interesting. So if you execute this one and if you input number zero, it won't say fan is off. Okay. If you execute this one and you put number one, it won't say the uh, speed, the fan is running with speed one because it's running speed one here. Okay, because the value is one. Uh, if you put things like um, three, the fan is running with speed three. And if you put anything else, let's say number um, five, let's say it's going to tell invalid inputs. Okay, that's it about the demonstration um, for selection statements. Right. Okay. See you in the next part.